Tonight, the National Weather Service has increased the number of tornadoes tonight from last Friday's storm. That's across the Arc LA Tex area. Officials confirmed seven of those tornadoes touched down here in East Texas. The city of Hughes Springs in Cass County was among the hardest hit. As the cleanup begins, there are new questions about where people can go to stay safe during severe weather. Staying put can be especially dangerous for those lot who live in mobile homes. New tonight, our Jose Alonso discovered a lack of shelters in the area. It's going to take a while to clean up all the damage left behind in cities like Hughes Springs. There's tons of trees down and roofs damaged, houses damaged, but what you saw were neighbors helping neighbors. Cass County Judge Travis Ransom confirmed the area has no county-funded tornado shelters. He said that's mainly due to the county being so wide and rural. It's really impractical for the most part because of the distance you'd have to travel to get to a shelter, and that's where you wind up having accidents. I know I've, I've seen people where they've had accidents just trying to get away from their mobile home and into a safer, more secured structure. So what should you do if you live in a mobile home and county with no public shelters? You need to go to a safer building, whether it be a family or friend's house that's a single family home uh, or a commu another community building. Maybe it's a, a church, maybe it's a school. Charlie Woodrum with the National Weather Service says there are options. Another family up in Idabel in McCurtain County moved to under the stairs in the center of their home in the lowest floor, and the roof and second floor were completely ripped off of their home. Again, they saved their lives or, or prevented serious injury by taking those simple actions to get to the center of a building. East Texas is no stranger to tornadoes, so experts say it's always best to have a plan. Plan for the worst and hope for the best. My kids immediately grab their bicycle helmets and they put on closed-toed shoes and they go to the interior room of their home where there's no windows and uh, and they hunker down in that bathroom just to, uh, you know, to try to mitigate the damage. We know this is a very active part of the country for tornadoes, both in the spring and the fall, so we have to be ready for it. And with Election Day tomorrow, Judge Ransom wants Hugh Springs residents to know that their usual polling location is currently out of commission. And they can vote at the First United Methodist Church. All righty, Jose. Thanks for that information.